This lesson, we want to simplify expressions involving algebraic radicals. In some way, algebraic radicals is actually easier than numerical radicals. When we're working with square roots, we need to find the highest even power of a variable to act as our perfect square. When working with cube roots, we look for the highest multiple of 3 as an exponent for our perfect square. As a first example, we want the square root of x to the fifth. Notice 5 is an odd number. What's the highest even power in there? That would be x to the fourth. What are we missing to get from x to the fourth to x to the fifth? x to the first. So we write this as the square root of x to the fourth times the square root of x to the first. Now to take the square root of a power, we simply take half. So half of 4, we have x squared times the square root of x. Let's look at an example that has both a number and a letter. Here we have the square root of 9, b to the third. Now we want to write this as something that's a perfect square and something that's not a perfect square. 9 is a perfect square. 3, the highest, this is an odd power, so the highest even power would be b to the second. Notice we're missing a b to the first. The square root of 9 is 3. The square root of b squared, take half of that, b to the first. And then we have the square root of b. How about if we have two letters? We have the square root of 20 times x squared y cubed. 20 we want to break into two parts. Something that's a perfect square, notice 4 times 5 seems to work nicely, so we put a 4 here and a 5 here. This is the perfect square part. x squared is an even power, so we can put the whole thing right here because even powers we can take square roots of. y to the third, the highest even power below 3 would be y to the second, but then we have a y to the first left that we don't have. y squared times y to the first gives us y to the third. The square root of 4 is 2. The square root of x squared, take half the exponent, x to the first. The square root of y squared is y times the square root of 5y. What happens if we have a square root and a number in the denominator? Let's see. First the denominator we could write as the square root of 9. In the numerator we want to write this as a perfect square and what's not a perfect square? Now 5 is not a perfect square, so we'll put it on this side. w to the fourth is an even power, so we'll put that up the perfect square. The square root of 9 is 3. The square root of w to the fourth, we take half of that, w squared. The square root of 5 doesn't come out evenly, so this would be our final answer here. Finally, how about the square root of 12x cubed over 49? The denominator, denominator we can write as the square root of 49. 12 we can write as the square root of two numbers. How about 4 times 3? 4 is a perfect square. x cubed, we take the highest even power below 3, which will be x squared. Now we're missing an x, so we need to put that over from this side. So the square root of 49 is 7. The square root of 4 is 2. The square root of x squared, take half the exponent, is x to the first, times the square root of 3x.